Well, this was an interesting week. channel and welcome if you're new here happy friday so it is friday so you know what that means it is weigh-in day ww workshop day the end of the month so i have my overall total weight loss for the month to share and some extremely exciting news like extremely exciting news so make sure that you are subscribed and that your bell is turned on so you don't miss a single video give this one a thumbs up if you love these weigh-in videos it really helps out my channel so i very much appreciate it and let's jump into this week's weigh-in workshop topic and this exciting news so let's talk about my week like i said it was quite an interesting week a lot of just different things happened that affected my overall week but on a high note i did do jazzercise five times this last week five which is incredible kind of on the low end of that I'm pretty sore. My body has needed the last couple of days to recover from all of that exercise. I was doing back-to-back -back jazzercise days, which takes a toll because it is such an intense, crazy workout. So I'm still feeling the soreness, kind of the after effects of those extra workouts, which I am so glad that I did. I'm so happy that I have exceeded my exercise goal. And I have five more days planned this next week. So I'm going to try to stick with it at least four times a week. Five would even be better. Jazzercise session. So I'm really proud of myself for that. This week was busy with life. Like I said, just a lot of things going on in my personal life, nothing bad, but just a lot of things going on. So I ended up eating out for a few meals this week, which is very uncommon for me. I normally only eat out once a week on Saturday when I use my calories or my points. I generally don't eat out during the week, but it kind of ended up happening this week, which I stayed within my calories and points that I allotted for the day but it's never good for me to eat out multiple times during the day with sodium and you know just it's not the healthiest options i like to eat a much cleaner diet so i noticed some of the side effects of that as far as the way that i was feeling the way that my body was feeling so that happened and then some exciting news happened this week actually it's been in the making for quite a while in fact so many of you suggested that i do this so i did a little research into it wanting to decide if it was a good decision for me if it was something that i would enjoy doing and that would be beneficial to me and you in the future and i decided that yeah this is definitely something i'm interested in i'm passionate about i've been looking into it for a few weeks but i took the plunge and i am in the process and i'm pretty far in the process i've been really committed and, and very interested and involved and intensely spending time in this, but I am in the process of getting my certification to be a nutrition coach. You guys, I'm so excited. I am learning all things nutrition, which is amazing. A lot of it I already knew from my extensive research, but a lot of it is new and exciting and things I never knew. And I'm incredibly excited for this next adventure in my life. It's going to benefit you guys because I'll be able to share more information with you. I have a lot of things in the works that you can take advantage of this education that I'm getting. So that happened this week. So I spent a lot of time on the butt, on the couch, doing my schoolwork, which I'm not complaining about, but those inactive or less active days were pretty inactive because I was doing a lot of studying. So all of that kind of happened this week, but overall, I had a really good week. I'm excited about my nutrition coaching certification and life is really good, you guys. It's really, really good. So my week overall was good. It was just different. There was just a lot of things thrown my way and I handled them really well, which I'm really proud of myself for doing. Speaking of food and choices, I want to jump right into this week's workshop topic. And that is what happens in your body when you choose healthier foods. If you're new to my channel, I made a transition over to a clean approach to WW almost six months ago. Well, just about six months ago, I've done a one month and six month video update. I'll link those down below for you guys where I talk about how I'm feeling and how my body is feeling following a more clean approach to the program. And this topic just ties right into that. And there are some great 
excellent tips that WW shared. There are so many reasons we make the food choices that we make. We may reach for that warm chocolate chip cookie because it makes us feel better. And, the, and it tastes really good, of course, but it makes us feel better. It satisfies a need. Maybe we're stressed out or we're tired or we're hungry or we're craving something sweet. We may reach for those strawberries because they're cut up and ready to go. And when we open our refrigerator, they are the very first thing that we see. We need to be mindful of what food choices will be more beneficial to our bodies. So I want to share with you guys some ideas that WW has for our overall goal. So we want to focus on this. So these are the foods that we could be choosing. So there are four examples that I'm going to share with you today. If your focus for your overall body is to focus on he heart health, you may want to reach for lean proteins, nuts, foods that are low in saturated fat. If your focus is trying to feel full and satisfied, focus on foods that are high in fiber. Fiber is so important in a diet for many reasons. Some we won't discuss here, but fiber is very, very important. It keeps you full. It makes you feel satiated and it just helps with your overall body function. So if you're looking for a little boost of fiber, you can reach for fruits, vegetables, legumes. What if you're looking to maintain your lean muscle mass or even grow your lean muscle mass. You definitely want to focus on protein. I have a protein goal every single day. As you guys know, it is the number one macronutrient that I meet every single day without exception. That is a must for me because I do want to lean out my body. I want to build muscle. I want to tone up. I want to do all the things that protein helps with. So reach for protein dense foods, eggs, meats, non-fat Greek yogurt. Try to stay away from fake protein sources or minimal fake protein sources. And what I mean by fake protein sources are things like protein bars and protein shakes and that type of thing. I limit myself to one per day because my goal is to get the majority of my protein from real food, the eggs, the meats, the nuts, the dairy, that type of thing. You'll see me eat a lot of cottage cheese, yogurt, things that are going to give me a good dose of protein, but are real whole foods. Now, if you want to eat protein bars throughout the day, that's a, of course entirely up to you. But for me, I find that my weight loss is better. My overall health, the way I feel is better if I focus on real foods that are dense with protein. And number four, if your focus is on supporting your bone health, reach for things like dairy, fish, nuts, leafy greens, and fortified cereals. These things are really going to help you with your bone health. It's amazing that the true saying is you are what you eat. The foods that we put into our body is how our body responds and how our body feels. And this is so true. I shared these tips and tricks in my one month and six month update on clean eating. Again, I'm going to link those down below for you guys. Definitely check them out. I think it, this week we should focus on choosing what as far as our body's health do we want to focus on and making sure that we're choosing foods that help meet that goal. So for me, I'm going to focus on lean muscle mass, building lean muscle mass, toning up. So I'm going to be, of course, looking at my protein. I'm going to again limit my fake protein to one time per day. And I'm going to really focus on protein dense, real food. I do that most of the time anyways, but I'm going to make just a mindful effort this week to really focus on that. So I love this topic. It goes hand in hand with a lot of what I've talked about here on my channel. And basically the bottom line to remember is you are what you eat. So choose foods that make you feel better, healthier, stronger, and the best version of yourself. So let's talk about weigh-in. Like I mentioned this week, threw me a few curveballs from eating out a little bit more, getting in some extra exercise, and starting my nutrition certification. And with all of that, I still managed to lose point. Four. Now, you guys know I am not entirely focused on that number on the scale. I feel good about how this week went. I feel good about the extra exercise. I feel good about doing something for my mind, something for my body and my soul. And for you guys, that makes me feel good. So I am focused on kind of the non-scale victories and the point four is still a loss. And with that point four, I lost every single week, all five weeks in the month of July. So I am so incredibly happy about that. And my overall weight loss for the month of July was 5.2 pounds. So I am right on track to where I need to be to hit my 50 pounds loss by the end of 2020. In fact, I am at 41.4 pounds loss, which is so incredibly exciting. I definitely feel it. I'm noticing it in my clothes. I'm noticing it even in my endurance at Jazzercise and just the way I feel doing the workouts. So I'm proud of myself for the 0.4. Is it two or three pounds? Nope. Do I care? 
nope, I'm happy with my 0.4 loss and my overall 5.2 for the month of July. So I do have a few goals for August. My goals for August are to lose six pounds. I'd like to up my weight loss a little bit, continue with jazzercise at least three, four, or five times a week. Three is the very minimum. I'm shooting more for four or five times. I'm going to do a little bit of calorie cycling through the month of August. I'm reformulating how I'm working my calories and my points, and I just have all the goals for August. I can't wait to see how it works out. So down in the comments, let me know how your guys' July went. Was your way in this week what you expected? Did you gain? Did you lose? What part of your overall body health are you going to focus on for the upcoming week? Let me know what you're going to focus on and how you're going to achieve that goal. If you're new to my channel, welcome. I do a weigh-in video every single Friday, so I would love to have you come over and join my community. So make sure that you're subscribed and your bell notification is turned on that way you're not missing a single video. Give this one a big thumbs up if you love these weigh-in videos and these car chats. And of course, leave your comments down below. I can't wait to hear from you guys. I hope you have a wonderful Friday, a wonderful weekend, and let's kick some butt, you guys. August starts tomorrow. Let's do the dang thing. Hi, hi.